I want you to start paying closer attention to your intentions, why you're doing what you're doing, your motives, what's driving you to certain behaviors, certain mindsets, certain activities, people, places, and things. I want you to be more focused on why you've chosen to do certain things with whom and where you're going, how you're feeding your brain, if you are even feeding yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, um, all of that. I want you to start paying closer attention to the intention, the motive behind your actions. Because a lot of the unfulfillment or discontent or frustration you're feeling is because what you're doing, the activities, the people you're around, the things you're thinking, saying, doing, the people you're engaging in conversation with, the feeds you're following on social media. A lot of the unfulfillment that you can't really put your finger on, you don't know why you're in kind of a funky mood or, or why you don't feel your best spiritually, it is because you are doing things, partaking in activities, talking to people, having relationship with people who are not aligned with your true intentions, your true motives. And sometimes we can get so caught up in our daily grind and things we're just used to doing, habitual things, monotony, that we lose sight of who we are and what we really want. And so I want you to start taking a good look at the people you're around. If you're at work right now and it's almost lunchtime or it's almost time to leave and maybe you go out to the parking lot with a certain person or you know you're going to get in the car and call this type of person, I want you to start thinking about what your overall intention is for your life. And if you haven't given that thought, now's a good time to start thinking about it. What do you really want? And are you carrying out activities day to day, the littlest things from how you eat to how you look at yourself to how you handle yourself in public to who you're hanging around with, to the conversations you're having, to what you're looking at on the computer, to what feeds you follow on social media, Instagram, Facebook, even LinkedIn. What are you doing? And is it aligned with your true intention? What do you really want? The decisions you're making, that, the, that you're making, are they in line with what you really want? Because I can tell you, when you're not walking in parallel to the intention you truly have for your life, you will find yourself frustrated because intention is pulling you this way, habit, monotony, and maybe some sort of feeling as though you owe it to people to do this thing. It's a constant pull, right? And that's frustrating and it's tiresome and it's weakening, right? And that doesn't make you happy. A constant pull between what you want and what you're doing when they're not aligned. But when everything is aligned, there's a natural flow. There's a natural order. And you feel better about what you're doing on a daily basis, how you're doing it, who you're doing it with. And I just want you to think about what your intention is. So what's your motive? If you want to be happy, are you doing things that bring you happiness? And happiness is defined your way. What makes you happy doesn't make your friend happy, doesn't make your mama happy, wouldn't make me happy. It's happiness is defined simply by what makes you feel joy from the inside out. Are you doing things that bring you true joy? Or are you doing things that make other people happy? Are you doing things out of obligation? Do those things out of obligation match up Walk in tandem with your intention. You need to understand what the intention is in your life. I can remember from years ago, before I had children, before I was a mother, before I thought about being a mother or a wife, even an entrepreneur, I knew that I wanted my life to look a certain way with regard to uh, corporate America. I knew that I didn't want to work around the clock. And this is when I was young. I just saw what the result of that looked like in my family when people were consumed by work. I saw uh, some of the damage that that 
did. And so I'd always been like, well, I don't want my life to look like that. So I'm going to have some boundaries when it comes to how long I work, how far I commute, um, what kind of jobs I have, the corporate culture at the workplace. And those intentions on what I wanted my life to look like, and then based on that, what my motives were um, and why those things were important to me, I sought out employment that matched my intention. And so I had a wonderful 20 years in corporate America because I consistently matched jobs and employment opportunities and other opportunities with my intention and my motives and what I wanted for my life. So many times people will come to me mad because, you know, they're not getting what it looks like I'm getting at work. Or, you know, they can't do this particular thing and the job's not flexible and they don't allow them to do this and how'd you get this thing? And I simply said, because I, my motive was not money, my motive was not status, climbing the ladder per se for status reasons, but my motives were very different. My intentions were different. So every decision I made was for the purpose of walking in tandem with my intention. Now, did really high paying jobs pass me by? Absolutely, but my motive wasn't money, so it was okay. Did opportunities to be you know senior management vp level passed me by sure but i wasn't motivated by those titles and that status so even though those things passed me by i definitely wasn't losing or at a loss because i understood what my intentions were and because of those things because i let those things pass me by even though other people thought oh my gosh, like these are things you should absolutely want. It wasn't what I wanted for my life. And so that's why I say to you, follow your truest intention. People don't have to understand it. It doesn't have to match the status quo. You don't have to be doing what everyone else is doing. You don't have to want the same type of success that other people want because your journey has led you to believe that success and happiness looks this way for you. And maybe for everyone else, it looks this way. But you don't want this, you want this. So start to embrace your truest intentions and walk in them. And it may not look like what other people think you should be doing, but at the end of the day, you have to be happy with yourself. You have to live with the decisions you make. When you lay your head on the pillow at night, you wanna feel like you're ready to rest. You've had a great day. You've loved the work you've done. You've loved the people you touched. You love the people in your life. You love your contribution. And I'm not saying every day is going to be happy-go-lucky, but you're walking in your intention. Therefore, you are aligned. You feel more successful and fulfilled than people who have millions more dollars than you do. Better cars, better houses. People will wonder why you're so content and you give off an era of calm and beauty that they can't seem to understand because they're looking like, how can you be so happy? Look at your little crappy house and your, happy, and your crappy car. But it's because you're walking in your purpose, aligned with your intention, moving forward with motivation that you understand. You created, you created a life around what you really want. Therefore, you're going to be happy. You're going to be successful. You're going to be fulfilled. And guess what? When you're happy, feeling successful and fulfilled, that then rubs off. There's a ripple effect that's going to go into your family, your community, your workplace, your company, your business, and crowds that you're in, an audience that you sit in. If you're a speaker, an entrepreneur, the people under you who work for you, who partner with you, who team up with you, they're going to feel this energy. It's contagious. So, there's so many benefits of understanding your truest intention, but I ask you to start thinking about what your intention is. Do you even know? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about what you really want? And then if the things that you're doing currently match that intention, if you want to be healthy, are you, are you implementing healthy people places and things into your lifestyle? Are you introducing yourself to opportunities to be healthy? And I'm not just talking about physical health. I'm talking about mind, body, and spirit. So I want you to think about these things. Leave me a comment. Let me know what are your truest intentions and how do you incorporate those truest intentions into your life every day? And 
if you even you haven't gotten that far you're like look i even think about attention i really don't even know what i want start thinking about it explore that as you're in situations especially the ones where i want you to think about the good situations i'm going to just label them as good and the great the ones where you have really good experiences and not so good experiences when you're having a wonderful time and you you're feeling special and warm and and excited or or loved or you're feeling joy and happiness i want you to think about what is it about that moment that's making me feel so wonderful right now think about what what is in that moment is it the place is it the grass is it the building is it the air is it being outside indoors was it the people was it the food was it the color around you was it what you were wearing I want you to think about that because whatever was in that environment that made you feel great, you're going to have to pursue more of that. On the flip side, if you are in a situation just not, I'm just not feeling this. I want to leave. Like I want to go or you're uncomfortable or you're feeling sad or um, you don't feel like yourself or you have to put on a mask because you've got to be something other people want you to be. Pay attention to those environments and those settings too. What's going on here? Why do I feel like I have to put on a mask? Why do I feel like I can't be myself? Why am I unhappy? Why do I want to cry? Why am I so frustrated? Why am I angry? Why am I sad? I want you to think about that because you need less of that. And you need to understand what's going on. How did I get here? Did I put myself here? Why? Because if it's not in line with my attention, why am I doing it in the first place? So pay more attention to your intentions. Begin to walk in purpose, motivated to fulfill your happiness, success, and desires. Be inspired, be motivated, be a life ignited.